Okay, everyone, this is part two to the credit card or the ePort credit card reader install. As you can see here, again, is the ePort credit card reader from USAT. Um, this machine had to be replaced or this device had to be replaced because of the crack in the screen. It was not showing display. It was getting old, so I needed to replace it so that the screen could properly work. As you can see here, I have already replaced it. Um, this is, the, of course, the exact same ePort machine from the one here. If you look at them side by side, they are the exact machines, just that the one to the right is the new one that has been installed. Now, I want to show something really quickly. When I went to do the install, as you can see, that piece from before, the bracket, is in the back here. The bracket is bolted in here with the top two bolts. Those two bolts bolt right into the back of that credit card reader. In that location there, those two holes at the top, those are going to be the two holes the bracket is bolting into. Once those two bolts are put in, you have it stabilized, it'll hold the machine in place. All right, on the broken machine, you'll see the cord at the bottom, which is the cord that plugs into the telemeter, has the clip at the top, it's a really easy connection. There's only one way it will fit. You take that plug, plug it into the cord that comes from the um, telemeter, which in this case is on this machine here. It's there. See, it's plugged in. That plug goes directly to the telemeter, which is up top there, which is currently working. As you can see, the lights are on because I've cut, I've turned the machine back on and the machine is properly working. So now, the credit card reader is currently working. As you can see from the front, it says swipe or tap to begin. Then it says the name of the company, which is Sunshine Refreshments. So we are Sunshine Refreshments. We have this machine on our system. We use this machine. We like the USAT ePort system. They're pretty easy to work with. And so this is part two to the install. It was basically very simple to remove. All I had to do was unbolt those two screws and unplug this clip, remove the credit card reader, put the other one up, put the other credit card reader up top, bolt those two screws back into the back of the bracket um, to secure it, plug it back in, and then turn the machine back on Which from down there. Really simple. It took me about three minutes to do. Um, that three minutes of work in that regard helped save sales because no matter no telling how many sales were missed because the credit card machine was not properly working. But that's part two to the ePort credit card um, reader install on a Crane National Vendor vending machine.